Yo, what's good everyone? This is AEO Boxing from Adiba, and we're here to talk about Errol Spence activating his rematch clause. So news just broke yesterday that Errol Spence has activated his rematch clause to fight Terence Crawford. And this was expected to happen. The loser of the fight had the ability to activate the rematch within 30 days, and true to his character and the words he said in the post-fight interview, Spence activated the rematch clause. Everyone saw this coming, but a lot of fans don't want to see this rematch because, as we all know, Crawford completely destroyed Spence in the first fight. Most people thought it was going to be a 50-50 competitive fight, and many people chose Spence to win, but none of that happened. Due to Crawford's domination, most fans think that a rematch is pointless, and at first, I agree with this sentiment. But after the initial shock of the first fight and having some time to think about it, I support the rematch for two reasons. The first reason is that the rematch will take place at 154. Fighting at 154 was part of the rematch clause, and it was a good move on their part. There was no point for them to stay at welterweight. The first fight was for undisputed, which is the biggest thing a champion can accomplish in a weight class. The fight was going to determine who was the best welterweight since Floyd and Crawford took the title. Furthermore, Spence and Crawford were the biggest names and the biggest legacy fights at welterweight so there was no reason for them to stay there. But it was also the natural time for both guys to move up. Spence has fought at welterweight his entire career, and he's always been a big welterweight. He's had issues making the weight on several occasions, and has stated in several interviews that he wants to move up to 154 in the near future. A good amount of people suspected that Spence was weight drained when he fought Crawford, which is why he performed the way he did. Theoretically, Spence should be a healthier and better fighter at 154 and I agree with that sentiment. Crawford on the other hand started his career at lightweight and moved up to welterweight, going up three weight classes. He was always seen as a smaller guy, but in reality, he grew into the weight class very well. He looked the same size and even a little bit bigger than Spence on fight night. And Crawford said himself that he had some difficulties making the weight for that fight. So we can also expect for Crawford to be a healthier and better fighter at 154. Furthermore, 154 will provide the fighters more opportunities to enhance their legacies. Both guys can go for another undisputed run at 154, but the rematch would be more beneficial for Crawford, mainly because it will get Crawford acclimated to a new weight class, but also serve as a springboard if he wants to go up to 168. So instead of going up three weight classes to fight Charlo or Canelo, it will only be two at that point. The second reason why I support this rematch is because the fans wanted it. Boxing fans are fickle and tend to have short memories, but I remember how excited the fans were when the fight was announced, especially when news broke that there was a rematch clause. To be fair, most people assumed that the fight was going to be a close and competitive fight at the time, so a rematch clause was justifiable to most fans back then. But now the popular opinion has changed, but I still remember it. So I think it's only fair for us fans to accept it because we wouldn't have gone the first fight if there was no rematch clause. Furthermore, Spence deserves to get his revenge. He never made an excuse and gave Crawford full credit. He also wanted a rematch right away, right after the fight was stopped, actually. Why should we take away the man's pride and dignity? Let Spence try again. But the real question is, can Spence win the rematch? In my opinion, I think Spence will make the adjustments. That fight humbled Derek James and he has acknowledged that Crawford won and he was a better man that fight. Derek James also has a track record of making those rematch adjustments. Jermel Charlo's fights against Harrison and Castaño are testaments to that. Furthermore, Spence will be motivated to redeem himself and knows what to expect from Crawford. So I'm expecting Spence to look better and do better in the rematch. However, I still think that Crawford will win. He has the style advantage and prove to me that he's the superior fighter in all aspects. Crawford can also improve and make adjustments, so I'm expecting a better version of Crawford as well. But will the rematch draw the same interest and attention as the first fight? I don't think so, but with Crawford's press run that he's going on, and people waiting to see what Spence has to say after the loss, I low-key feel that the rematch could do around the same numbers as the first fight. But who knows, this is boxing, anything can happen. But thank you for tuning in with AEO Boxing with Madiba. Hit like, subscribe, and more contests coming your way.